Hello, and welcome to my Skillshare class, which is pretty much dedicated to finding Skillshare classes either free or cheap. Let's begin by looking at what you're going to learn in this lesson. First, we're going to look at where to find Skillshare, and a hint is Skillshare.com is a good place to start. Then we're going to see how to subscribe for a free Skillshare account. Then we'll look at the differences between free Skillshare subscriptions and premium subscriptions. Then we'll look at the meaning of the Skillshare Premium Subscriber Star. In the second half of the lesson, we'll start using the class hierarchy menus to find classes and look at the other way to find classes, which is using the search interface, and discuss the fact that they both produce different results sorted in different ways. Then we'll look at setting the search relevance for search results and displaying free classes. This will be our first access on how to find free classes. Then we'll conclude with a summary of the rest of this class. So without more ado, let's get started. First, if you're watching this on Skillshare, you're already a Skillshare member, so this isn't going to really apply to you. But if you're watching it on YouTube, what I want you to do is to go to Skillshare.com and what you'll be presented with is a screen that looks an awful lot like this. Now Skillshare changes their screens quite often, so I can't guarantee that these are going to be the words or this is what it's going to look like. But for now, what you want to do is get started for free. So get your free account first. Don't worry about paying for subscriptions and stuff like that. Start with free and understand Skillshare and get the full use of free before paying. Now, when you sign up for a free account, you'll be presented with this form where you can either sign up with Facebook or enter a few simple fields to create your account. And voila, you have a free Skillshare account. Now, what I want to talk with you about up front is the difference between a free subscription and a premium subscription, which is one that you pay for. Now, this is a rather complex slide, and the data in it is valid as of 12-3-2016. Let's understand what this is saying. First, you have two types of subscription, free and premium. Free is $0 per month. Premium can be as much as $12 per month to become a premium member. Now, what do you get with free? Both free and premium get access to all of the free classes on Skillshare, and I'm going to show you how to find those by the end of this lesson. They also get access to premium classes that have free links to them. Instructors can create free links to their premium classes in order to build up the student body for the class. Now, the area where free cannot access classes is in premium classes that do not have free links. To access those, you have to be a premium member. So, Becoming a premium member opens up the whole, uh, whatever, 15,000 classes, and I think you only have around 600 free classes. I'm going to show you how to get to premium free, which is going to add a lot more to that. And by the end of this class, I'm also going to show you an option for getting premium, a premium Skillshare subscription for as little as $647 per month. But don't start with that. Start with free. And along the way, they're going to want to tempt you into this deal. This is currently going on right now as of 12-3-2016, that you can get three months of premium enrollment for just 99 cents. Skillshare always has deals like this. And when it comes to getting into premium, you're going to want to try it first with this three-month deal. Now, the last thing that I want to point out relative to premium is this little star next to the name. You might be wondering what it means. Some people have gold stars, some don't. It means that I'm a premium member, and I've been a proud premium member of Skillshare since I've been training on it and plan on staying that way as long as I remain here. Now, there are two sources for listing Skillshare classes for when you're looking at things, and they provide results in slightly different ways. So I want to go over those two sources and show you my preferred source. The first is, notice this classes menu option in the upper left of the screen. This is on all of the Skillshare screens. Well, not when you're viewing a course, but the main navigation screens. And what it does is it pulls up the list of class categories. So you have the all classes, and here's the categories, uh, design, photography, business, and so on. And that's under all classes. Once I click on one of these, I get presented with a sub menu to further select what I would be interested in. 
Now, once I finally select something, it will display the results. And the order in which it displays it is a thing called your trending score. It looks at the classes and it says, how many students has it got? How many thumbs up? How many projects have students submitted? How many discussions are there? All these good things that mean interaction. And it turns them into a trending score. And it sorts the results that way. Now, the other option that you have is this search window in the top of the screen. Now, notice here I entered the search term GIMP for GNU Image Manipulation Program. It's a keyword for which I have several classes. And that's the way to look at it, really. You're talking about keyword matches on the title and the contents of the course. How are these sorted? Right now, the SEO algorithm for sorting by keyword search is pretty much students. They're, they're sorted in a number of students. So the most students, the class with the most students will be at the top all the way down to ones with zero. Now, the next thing that I want to talk with you is about how to search for and find free Skillshare classes. Now, once again, here I am, I've entered a search for GIMP. And notice that I can refine the search down below. Relevancy means that the standard SEO keyword search results are being displayed. I can click on the pull down and I can change to trending, the method used for the classes categories menu interface, or I can do best, I don't know what the best class means, or newest, so in order of release. Next to that pull down is a filter pull down. And here I can display class type and here finally, we can click on free. So I can see where what are all of the free GIMP classes. Now notice this other search criteria here too, which is how long the class has been out, whether it's from a teacher that I'm already taking lessons from, the length of the class. So all of these constraints can be used to filter your results to get closer. But the big one that you want is free. That's how you get to the free courses for a particular keyword. Now the problem I've got with using the classes category menu system is here we've gone through it and we've selected WordPress classes and everything is sorted by trending, but notice there's no sort by relevancy or um, there's no free, there's no filter. So to filter and so on, you have to do a search. That's why I don't use the class category menu interface to find things. I use search, it's, it's, in, it's easy. If I want self-publishing, if I want SEO, whatever it is, just type that in the search criteria and then I can refine my search. Now, what I wanna do is provide a summary to both this lesson and this class. First of all, what you'll learn in this class, the rest of it, is how to find premium free classes, which is coming up next, how to get a three-month premium sample subscription for 99 cents. You've already seen that, actually. How to get a 15-month premium subscription for as little as $6.47 per month. That's almost half price. And then as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to speed up class video so you can watch a video in half the time. Now, what did we learn in this class? Where to find Skillshare, right? Go to Skillshare.com if you're watching this on YouTube and subscribe for a free account. We know the difference between free and premium subscriptions and what you get with them. We want a free one for now. We'll worry about premium later. The meaning of the premium subscriber star. And then we looked at using the class hierarchy menus to find classes versus class search interface, which is my preferred way, which is just to enter the keywords that I'm looking for in the search field and press enter. Then we looked at changing the search results from relevance to other sort criteria, and finally, how to filter to find free classes. And then we saw a summary of the rest of the class. So that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, get ready to start finding premium classes. I'll see you there.